Hey everybody, it's Brian, and this is our 25th video on C++. This will also be our last video on C++ unless you guys contact me wanting specific videos. I really want to move along to Qt programming. And if you remember at the very beginning of all these tutorials, I even said we're going to cover C++, what you need to know in order to do Qt programming. So moving right along, today we're going to cover macros. Well, if you go to www.cprogramming.com slash tutorials slash cpreprocessor.html, you will actually find a very good article on the preprocessor, including header files, constants, conditional compilation, comments, um, you know, how to make sure a header file isn't included multiple times. We covered that in a previous tutorial. Today we're going to cover macros. Now, what is a macro? A macro is a bit of code that is defined at the preprocessor level. And you do that by saying pound defined, that's the preprocessor, the macro name arguments and then the code to execute. So for instance you can do define increment x and then you're going to say x increment. Let's actually just copy that and we're gonna write this code. I want you to see what's going on and understand what happens here. So there is our bit of code, our macro, and we're going to say int b equals 1 and we're going to increment b and do c out B and L. And let's run this and see what happens. Sure enough, B has been incremented. So that's a macro. Real quickly, let's review. Here's our preprocessor directive. We're going to define, and the name of the macro is increment. The argument list is X, and it's going to just simply increment X. And in this case, X is B. B is equal to 1, so B is going to equal 2 very simple. Now why do you need these? We already have functions. Why do you need macros? It's just another tool in your arsenal is really all it is. Um, general rule of thumb is stay away from macros. They are not very heavily used in the real world. I don't recommend using them, but you know, here comes the catch-22. In Qt programming, which we'll be covering, they do actually use a macro called QObject. And what that does is defines a class as a QObject. We'll cover that later. I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but for this tutorial, all you need to know is what a macro is and why it exists. Well, this is a short one. I thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video educational and entertaining. And like I said, if you've got any uh, requests for C++ videos, please let me know.